Well, hey there, it's Catherine from CatherinePooler.com. We are going to take a look at the Instacart bundle of products in this video. I'm going to show you some samples, some projects, the products, and I'm going to do some stamping. Here are some adorable projects made with the O oh Snap stamp set. This sketchy line art stamp set showcases cameras from over the years and will have your cards looking fabulous. In our Instagram and smartphone world, it's fun to create with throwbacks like traditional cameras and Polaroids. Speaking of Polaroids, we have the Instant Happy and Instant Thanks dies. These were created to give the look of a Polaroid from back in the day, and each one has a word attached to it. So thanks, and then there is a cursive U. You can cut off that S to do thank you, or just keep it thanks. And then there's the happy birthday, and they can be used alone or together. Here's a look at that O oh Snap stamp set and coordinating dies. And then, of course, we had to throw in a coffee set because who doesn't love to go to the coffee shop, snap some photos, throw them on Instagram. It's very hip and trendy. And then the swatch background stamp, which is going to create all sorts of fun backgrounds for your cards. When we were creating dies for the Live Love Latte stamp set, we thought it would be really cute to take that to-go cup, have an extra little die cut to go with it so that you can make a shaker to-go cup. Isn't that adorable? I'm going to show you how to make that in this video. But first, we can't forget the sequins. We have the Seattle sequin mix, which is brown and some kind of cream latte colored looking sequins with some hearts in there to signify our love of coffee. So to make a shaker card, I'm going to take this little to-go cup stamp and I'm going to stamp it twice. And then I'm going to die cut both of these stamped cups out with the coordinating dies. And then I'm going to die cut the center out of one of the cups. And this will create a frame for my shaker bit. I am also going to take the larger die that cuts around the entire image and die cut a piece of window sheet. We carry these in our shop so that it's really easy for you to make shaker cards. And I will have everything linked below so that you can click the link, see the products, and add it to your card if you're ready to make some shaker cards. So I'm using the Barely Art Glue, which is really fabulous for really fine lines of glue. So it works great on a small image like this. I'm going to add on my piece of acetate, my window plastic, and that is going to make the top piece of my shaker card. So let's color in this cute little to-go cup. I'm using Aquatini, and I actually thought I was going to use Coral Cabana, but I end up switching that. <laughs> so I'm using a Dove blender pen. I've been getting a lot of questions about this. I've always been a big fan of the Zig blender pen by Kurataki, but unfortunately that product has been discontinued. So we are in search of new blender pens to use. The Dove blender pen is nice because the tip will pull out and you can add in new tips. So once you've used your blender pen for a while and it starts getting frayed at the top, you can just change it out and get a brand new tip. So that's really a nice feature. And you can also buy a little bottle of blender fluid so your tips will stay nice and juicy. I did find that my tip frayed more quickly than I was used to with the Zig blender pen, but it still works pretty well. So I'm laying down a base of Aquatini and then I'm just shading in darker on the edges to make it look a little three-dimensional. And then I grabbed my Rockin' Red ink pad and I'm just coloring in the cute little heart on this cup. So I, my, my preferred, well, I have a couple of preferred methods for getting ink on my blender pen. I like to use just the lid of the ink. I find just from use, I end up with ink on my lid. So that's really easy to just dip your blender pen right in there and get color. Or you can use an ink refill, squeeze it out into the lid and get color that way. You'll get very saturated, very dark color doing it that way. You can take your ink pad and, um, kind of dab it on a slick surface or an acrylic block and get color there. Or you can just dab right on top of your ink pad. All of those ways work. And then let's work on this little shaker piece. So I'm taking my Derice 
foam tape and I'm creating a barrier all the way around my little to-go cup so that none of the sequins will fall out. I'm using my jewel picker to pick out some of the sequins from the Seattle sequin mix. We created this mix with a lot of smaller sized sequins so that they were perfect for making shaker cards with this tiny little to-go cup. So we have some fun brown sequins in there for your coffee beans. We have some goldish kind of iridescent sequins in there that make me think of a latte. And we have some beads and we have these cute little red hearts, which is signifying our love of coffee. <laughs> So we want to add this to a card. So I'm grabbing the Live Love Latte stamp. This is a hand lettered sentiment. I think it's just beautiful. And I'm going to use my Misty stamping tool and stamp it with my icing on the cake ink. I like using my Misty with large stamps because then I know if I don't stamp it fully the first time or if I want it darker or want a better impression, I can stamp it multiple times and it will stamp in the same place every single time and I'll get stamping perfection. Who doesn't love stamping perfection? So this is a clean and simple card that is really highlighting this cute little to-go cup shaker card. I'm just doing it white on a white card base. Oh yeah and when I was done I decided I wasn't done so I wanted to add some coffee beans there and that's when my Misty comes in handy again. I can stamp those coffee beans several times in the same place and not worry about messing up my card. Now here is another card I created with the other little to-go cup. I just stamped the cups all over in a random fashion and popped the shaker to-go cup right up on one of them in the middle and I think it looks really adorable. Now for my next card, I'm going to use the large mug in the Live Love Latte stamp set. I'm going to do some ink blending on it. So I'm using something borrowed, Aquatini, and it's a boy. I'm doing the lightest color first, and then I'm just uh, inking up part of the stamp on the sides with the two darker colors. And then I'm taking a sponge dauber and very lightly dabbing in between where the colors are going to run into each other. That will give me a blended look and the color will just be like a really nice blend across the stamp. Doesn't that look gorgeous? So I die cut it with the coordinating dies for this stamp set and then I'm going to add a special little something. Look at this. This is from a new stamp set we have coming out. I will be sharing that on my Facebook page and once that is up I will link to it in this description in case you're watching this video later but look at this adorable little lab peeking his head out of this latte cup and then adding a party hat to his head this is just too much for me <laughs> it just makes me giggle and smile every time I see it so let's break out the O oh snap stamp set in dies and make a couple cards so I'm using my Misty stamping tool for this and I'm stamping the sentiment and the camera at the same time. I'm using Catherine Pooler white cardstock and the Midnight Black ink, which is an archival waterproof ink. So I'll be able to color in these images and not worry about it smearing. So here is my color palette. I've got Samba, Orange Twist, Tiki Torch, Limoncello, Mardi Gras, Something Borrowed, and Flirty Fuchsia. I thought this would be a great little rainbow. Uh, to color in this fun vintage camera with. So this camera has a flash, which is super fun, and I'm going to use the limoncello and stamp those lines around it so that it's like the flash going off, and then we will start coloring in. So I'm using my Dove blender pen and just dipping it into the ink, and I'm counting because I don't want to have to clean off this pen between each ink color. So I'm counting seven colors in seven lines and that will enable me to color all my Samba pieces at the same time so I don't have to clean off that blender pen in between my colors. So then I'm just going to go down the rainbow and color in as I go. And the layout of this card is going to be pretty clean and simple. I'm going to add a black layer behind it mounted to a card front and I'll be done. There are other things that I could do. I could die cut these with uh, fancy edge dies. I could do the postage stamp dies and layer them. That would be really fun. I can add glitter to this flash. 
We have Wanderlust glitter in the shop. It's by Wow and it's a clear, gorgeous glitter. That would be really fun too. Can also die cut this camera, color it in and pop it up on the card layer for extra dimension. Lots of possibilities. Here it is, pretty simple, uh, all colored in and a couple of the soda shop sequins to finish it off. I really love how this came out. I love the rainbow on that on that camera. I just think it looks so cute. Now for the next card, I'm a little excited about this one. I'm gonna use the Instant Happy die. It's like a little Polaroid photo with a happy on the bottom, and then there's a separate birthday. So you can use happy just on its own. We also have a stamp set called So Happy. You can use it with that and use all the secondary sentiments together with happy, or you can put birthday on there with the script font, which we're gonna do on this card. The first thing I'm doing here is I die cut the die, and then the piece that was left, like the, the outer piece, I'm using that as a mask to stamp the various cameras on the inside. And then I'm gonna take the outer piece and make a shaker card. So I grab my window plastic and I just cut a piece that was about the same size as that die cut. And I'm gonna use my Barely Art Glue. I really like this because it has that really fine nozzle so I can get a really nice thin line of glue there. And then I'm going to adhere the window plastic to the die. And then I'm gonna take some foam tape and create a barrier all the way around the die. I'm making sure that none of the foam tape shows in the window or on the outside and there are no gaps in between any of the pieces of foam tape. The foam tape is what holds in all of your sequins and shaker bits, so you wanna make sure that there's no gaps. Once I have my shaker topper, is that what you would call it, the shaker topper <laughs> already, I'm gonna add the sequins to my card layer. That is the base, and then the shaker piece is gonna go right over the top. And there you go, that's all there is to making a shaker card. It's really super easy and it's such a fun effect and people absolutely love getting cards like this. Now you could probably leave it as is, but I wanna dress it up. So I die cut and colored in another camera and I used Samba, Coral Cabana, Aquatini, and Tiki Torch. I love this color combination. It feels a little bit retro to me. I think it's fantastic. Another color if you wanted to add in would be an olive. An olive would look really nice. In the Catherine Pooler ink line, green tea would be a light olive color and eucalyptus would be a dark olive color and both of those would look fantastic. So we'll add the camera on there with some foam tape, just pop it right up there. And then the birthday, I use direct to paper technique to color it with Coral Cabana. And I'm gonna adhere that right on there. And that's it. So these products are all part of our Instacard bundle, which is part of the larger collection called Let's Party. You can purchase them individually or in a bundle for a discount and you can create awesome cards like this. <laughs> Thank you so much for being here. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and I will see you again really soon.